Well, welcome back, everyone. We're joined now by Cody and Lindsay from Vetsgiving. So, first off, good morning, y'all. Thank y'all for coming in. How are y'all doing this morning? Good. Doing well. Great. Glad to have you on for sure. So, before we even get into, I mean, you have a great event sounds like lined up for this next weekend. But before we even get into that, tell us a little bit about who y'all are at Vetsgiving and what your mission is here in the community. Yeah, absolutely. So, Vetsgiving is a nonprofit that serves veterans. And, and to put simply, uh, we center around Thanksgiving. So, we make um, warm Thanksgiving meals and we deliver it to veterans at their house, right? Um, kind of all originated uh, four years ago. Uh, I, I told my wife, I said, we need to teach our kids that there's more to Thanksgiving than just going eating food and being around family, right? right. We, need, we need to be able to give. And we asked the community to give us some names. We got three names, two of them were single moms, and one was a Vietnam veteran. And you know, when I served him, it reminded me of when I was overseas, right? Okay, yeah. um, you know, we always got together. It was always a big deal. Command served us. They made sure that they knew that people were around them, right? Mm -hmm. And here was this Vietnam veteran spending Thanksgiving alone. And uh, you know, I told her, I said, we've got to do something about this. Like, we can't have veterans out there by themselves. And so we created Vetsgiving. And the next year, we went out to the VFW, said, give us some names. We served 10 veterans that year. And it's really grown every single year. Last year, we almost served 200 veterans wow. between here and, and, uh, and Dallas, and really just blessed to do it, right? Be able to go shake their hands and veterans knowing that, hey, there's people here that are going to be with me during this holiday, or at least, you know, I'll have a warm Thanksgiving meal. So. That's really, uh, you know, our mission um, is to support veterans and, and kind of how it originated. I mean, I think that's a great mission for sure. And also, yeah. uh, thank you for your service to our country, oh, for sure. You, yeah. And so tell us about this Honoring Heroes Memorial Day Bash, because it's a great fundraiser for your organization. It just sounds like a fun time as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it's really a way for us to raise, uh, raise funds to support our mission, right, going out and supporting veterans. But at the same time is uh, to give families something here in Amarillo to come do. We'll have, you know, a concert. We'll have the bouncy houses. Uh, we'll have a lot of food trucks there, silent auction, just a, a really cool environment. Um, but we're also going to take time there to really sit around what Memorial Day is, right? right. Honoring the ones who made the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, we've got a great color guard coming out. Uh, we may even have some, some bagpipes playing. Um, and we're going to take a moment and read some names of some fallen and, and take that moment of silence and really honor them. So it's just really an event we want to create to, again, honor the people who gave the ultimate sacrifice, but also be able to help us raise some funds for our nonprofit so we can go out and support the veterans that are out there. So, How important do you think it is, like you said, you started this to kind of show your kids how important it is to honor veterans. How important is it for this community and the younger generation to learn about Memorial Day by attending an event like this? Yeah, I think it's super important. You talk about, you know, me and Linda have four kids and, and really this all started because we wanted to teach our kids, right? Mm -hmm. And I think this is even more important. You know, we have the bouncy houses. We want people to bring their, their kids out and be able to take a moment and then sit there and kind of realize what Memorial Day is about as well as what, it's, what it is to support the people who at one time, you know, uh, took an oath to go out in there and, and defend this country. I think it's huge. So. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. Uh, that's a great thing to do for sure. So what do people need to know about getting their tickets for this event? Because you've, you've kind of got a couple options here, and one of those options involves saving a little bit of money. Yes. Um, so if you go on our Facebook page um, today, I'll extend the, the flash sale. Okay. It'll be $15 today, and kids 10 and under are free, which makes it nice. Um, so if you just go to Facebook, go to our link, and grab the tickets, <laughs> we would love to, love to have you guys out. Are you just vets giving on Facebook? Just vets giving on Facebook, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So where is this going to be located, and what time does it start? Um, it's going to be in a parking lot. So it's a parking lot party. So it's CrossFit 806 and the Arts in the Sunset um, is going to be the, the fun activities. And it'll start at 5, and it'll go until 10 p.m. Awesome. It's going to be fun for the entire family. Absolutely. With yes. a great message behind it. Yep. Yes. Well, thank y'all for coming in and talking to us. And of course, that's giving. Got to check them out on Facebook and online. But when we